Namaste. I am Dr. K. Sinischal, practicing as a consultant dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Bengaluru. I am practicing since 2007 and dermatology has seen vast expansion. Aesthetic dermatology has become a part of clinical dermatology and we are catering to both aesthetic dermatology as well as clinical dermatology since 2007. Soft and smooth skin is a desire of every man and woman across all age groups. Be it anyone, everyone wants to have a nice smooth skin and it's not a bad desire also. So how do we define small, soft and smooth skin? See if the skin is not rough, there are no cuts or breaks in the skin, there is no peeling of the skin, that's a smooth skin. If the skin is well hydrated, it feels good when you touch, that's a soft skin. So there are two components to this. So the smoothness is basically the dead cell accumulation and that is reduced by or it is maintained by vitamin A. So whenever there is accumulation of the dead cells, then it feels rough and that can be reduced by using a vitamin A based product, be it a serum or a cream. Then comes the softness appealing, softness feel. So the softness feel is because of the hydration of the skin. And whenever it comes to hydration, it is not like how much of water you drink, but how much of water is more retained in the skin which matters more. So the water retention is basically because of the water content in the skin and the trapping of the water by the body. The trapping of the water by the body is basically because of the lipoprotein layer or the fat layer of the skin. So if at all we want to maintain a smooth soft skin, first stay yourself hydrated. Second, try to prevent the fat loss in the skin. So it is not the fat inside the skin, but it's the fat on the, on the skin. So for this, avoid using a lot of detergents. Second, use lukewarm water while washing your hands or taking bath. Then apply liberally moisturizers immediately after washing your hand or taking bath. By that, you are able to trap the water content of the skin and that, that maintains a soft and a smooth skin. Third thing is, as I told you, it has a fat layer. So the fat layer is also contributed to some extent by the nutrition. So nutrition which is rich in omega-3 helps to maintain a good skin. Omega-3 is rich in flax seeds. It is there in walnut, it is there in seafood like salmon, tuna and sardine fish. Another good vegetarian source of omega is the algae, the red algae. So these sources are a good supplement for omega-3 and that helps to maintain a good skin. And traditionally, the oil application and taking bath is a very good concept because whenever you apply oil and you take bath and you put a moisturizer, then you are trapping the water content in the skin and that helps to maintain a soft and supple skin. So the age old tradition of taking an oil bath is actually good, except that don't use very hot water or don't aggressively use soap or a soap nut powder to remove the oil content because that again it neutralizes the beneficial effects of the oil application. So to maintain a soft and smooth skin, one, use less detergents or soaps to cleanse the skin. Second, use lukewarm water. Third, apply a lot of moisturizers. Fourth, given an opportunity, try to apply oil and then take bath. Which is the best oil? Coconut oil is the best oil scientifically because it is light molecular weight and it has affinity for skin proteins. So when you apply to the skin, it gets adhered to the skin and it does not allow the water to get evaporated from the body. So that is how it helps in maintaining the soft and smooth skin. And all these practices are always supplemented by good nutrition with which is rich in omega-3.